Hello everybody, welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are in Epcot in the France Pavilion to show you Pere Noel. I don't know if I said that correctly, but it's an awesome show with their uh, version of Santa. And uh, if you want to know if I'm excited to show it to you guys, as the French say, oui oui. So let's check out the show. Hey, bonjour! Ah, can we all say that? Bonjour! bonjour. Très bien! And as we say in my country, Joyeux Noël! That means Merry Christmas! No, please, can I name this? We are friends, are we not? Come, 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 come. I do not bite. No. Let me ask. Do you know who I am? Well, some people call me Santa, but in France, I am Le Père Noël. Father Christmas. I am the good spirit of this season. Is it sure for me to see all of you in such good spirit? But now, I have another question for you. Have any of you, oh, we are petit enfant, huh? Have you ever written a letter to my friend Santa Claus at the North Pole? Mm -hmm. uh, you big people, you can admit this too. Well, in France, if a child writes a letter to me, Pierre Noël, and puts a return address on the envelope, the French government pays the postage on my reply. Not bad, eh? I get so many letters. I would like to share with you one of my favorite. It came to me from a lovely little girl named Babette, who lives with her old Uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm uh, near Les Beaux, in the mountains of Provence. And let's um, it will give you a bit of the flavor of the holiday season in France. Écoutez, um, listen. Dear Père Noël, even though my big brother Francois says Christmas is for babies, I look forward to La Vie de Petit Jésus and a visit from you. Of course she does. <laughs> The watch night, ah, the watch night, uh, Christmas Eve and the watch night. The watch night is a magical evening when my family and I sit in front of the fire, sipping wood cider, and Uncle Louis tells the story of the birth of the baby Jesus. She goes on to say that her brother teases her about all this. Mother Francois. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. But for me, nothing surpasses the magic of the watch night. Or the fragile beauty of a child's face on Christmas morning. Hmm? Hello. With Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis secretly decorated the tree. Uh, Francois, if Babette will set up the crash. Uh, uh, you know this word, crash? Uh, the nativity scene. One of the most important symbols of Christmas to the French. Even though it was invented by an Italian. <laughs> uh, St. Francis of Assisi. He's okay too. Now, you know the figures that go into the crash, yes? Mary and Joseph, the wise man, the little, the little drummer boy, huh? Well, where did they come from in Provence? The little statues one make for the nativity also include people from your village. The baker, the priest, little figures made out of clay called santons. That mean little saints. And Babette's wish for Christmas last year was she would get yet another Santon 
to put into the nativity scene as if it too was going to worship the baby Jesus. Is it nice custom, no? Last year, Babette was finally old enough to go to midnight mass with Uncle Louis. Oh, it was very beautiful. As Uncle Louis carried a newborn lamb to the priest to symbolize the Lamb of God and then put it into a little cloud for Babette to pull around the church for everyone to see with shepherds playing flutes and drums. Then, after the mass, they go home for the réveillon, the big supper. Oh, like sweet at Christmas time, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, like sweet all the time, huh? <laughs> well, we French are no different. Last year for the réveillon, Babette, she had roast goose, pâté, le fromage. Oh, le fromage. <laughs> you saw very fancy, no? It mean cheese <laughs> and for dessert. They had bush to know well a cake shaped like a yule log. Even Francois likes that one, do you think? Then Babette, she put the little santon of the baby Jesus into the crash. They all fall. The last she does before she goes to bed is to set out her shoes for me to fill with treats and goodies. <laughs> last year, Babette was a little um, devilish. <laughs> this is the shoe I find near the fireplace with a name on it. <laughs> If this is Babette's shoe, she's a grand beard, eh? A, a big foot. The next morning, Christmas Day, Babette, oh, Babette, she jumps out of bed. She rubs her eyes. She wants about Francois to go with her to see what I have put under the tree. But Francois, he takes his time. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël, remember? But when the children go to the tree, they discover an amazing thing. Such a show is extraordinaire. Not one, but three Santa. Two more even than my little friend had wished. Only one is carved to look like her Uncle Louis. <laughs> Another looks just like her brother, Dauphin Francois. And another looks just like sweet little Babette herself. She concludes her letter. So you can see I think Christmas is a very magical day. All I ever wish is a Christmas tree, Santa, and you, Père Noël, love, Babette. It's very sweet, no? And then, mes amis, that is a small taste of a French Christmas, seen through the eyes of a delightful little child. Uh, yeah. Sneaky one, <laughs> but a delightful one nonetheless, no? Huh? And do you know? Can you guess? I have just received a letter from... Can you guess who from who? Francois! Her brother! He emailed me this morning! So... I think he lives in the Père Noël now. Well, just a little bit too, huh? And what of you? Do you believe in Père Noël? Yes. Pia, do you believe in Christmas? Yes. Très bien. Then say with me, Merry Christmas in the language of my country. It is Joyeux Noël. En, deux, trois, 
Squire? No end. Freddy, yeah. Music, oh. Music to Pamela Wells' ears. A joyeux Noël, everyone! Oh, merci, merci, mes...